it's kind of frustrating because it's like why are you talking as if where you are safe you don't have bills yourself why i'm sure that where you are you are paying for your rent if you're not paying for your rent maybe you're living with your family but even even at that your family is also somehow fending for you favorites and welcome back to my channel my name is Favor Rodika and I'm super excited to have you guys back here with me if you're a new person on my channel welcome I don't know where you've been but I'm so glad you're here please do not forget to subscribe and leave a like on this particular video if you're a returning subscriber you're my G as always now without further ado let's just get right into this video today I'm going to be talking about hey the life of an abroadian that most of the content I'm going to be bringing on this channel is going to be centered around my life here I moved to this country a few years ago and I told you guys a story about it if you don't know what I'm talking about click the button somewhere in this video and watch my migration story part one and two it's going to give you a background I noticed something that ever since I moved to this particular country a lot of people just had unrealistic expectation of how I'm supposed to be how I'm supposed to dress what I'm expected to do how I'm supposed to respond in terms of everything it's not funny because at this point I'm not the only person that's actually going through this in a way it's it's choking it's like what the hell do you want from me kind of situation first of all I'm going to say that the expectation is highly unrealistic there's this automatic expectation of how your life is literally supposed to go how you're supposed to be relating with people back home I've gotten messages from people back home that tell me things like oh I've not eaten since morning oh please send me stuff and I'm not saying that they're no genuine people out there I'm just saying that it's really hard and then when you tell them oh I don't have money how is it that you don't have money you're living in a bobodo ibo you na you na big gear uh -uh. in my head I'm like I don't understand do you really think that I go out there and I pluck this money from the trees let me tell you something people have bills okay people have rent it's kind of frustrating because it's like why are you talking as if where you are safe you don't have bills yourself why I'm sure that where you are you are paying for your rent if you're not paying for your rent maybe you're living with your family but even even at that your family is also somehow fending for you it costs money for people to leave and it's everywhere in the world it's even worse here because you have different bills house bill or your house note you have your car note right you have to pay for your car you have to pay for your insurance right you have to freaking pay for your phone you have to pay for Wi-Fi in some cases some people pay for water they pay for light pay for literally every single thing and they are still expected to live a normal life I'm not saying that some people cannot afford that life but I'm just saying there's some people that are scraping to live in this country some people are working two jobs they're working three jobs you know and some people have school for someone like me that just finished school it's like the expectation is just crazy because it's like okay I'm about to start my life I'm yet to be settled but then for some strange reason you want me to be sharp packing truckload of money I'm sending it back home how and when I'm on do I have a job do you get what I'm saying and even if I have a job how much are they paying me that I'm supposed to be giving you I'm supposed to be remitting debiting your account every two four seven like it doesn't make any sense another thing that I'm, I'm actually hitting on money because money has actually been a very huge deal for many people back home like that expectation is crazy and it's as if there's that entitlement mentality just because I'm abroad I'm supposed to be sending you money you don't even care where it's coming from you don't care how it's coming and me so show if I'm stealing if I'm prostituting if I'm doing sugar daddy if I'm scamming it does not matter to you if I'm even working a legit job it does not care. You don't care. The only is if you think. And some people say things that literally make me go bonkers. I will not even lie. Like things like you are abroad now. At least send me two k. Give me data. I need you to top up my data. And I'm like, are you mad? Are you mad? Are you crazy? And some people, it has gotten so bad. The dollar has actually fallen in Nigeria where it's like the lesser money here, the more money back home. So people are just looking at it as it's not supposed to be a big deal now. It's not supposed to be a big deal for you now. Uh -uh, how much is the dollar there? How much is it now? And I'm like, that's not the freaking point. My point is you asking for it as if you own it. You don't know how I even got the money in the first place. So why are you asking with that entitlement mentality? That's what I have a bloody problem with. I don't have a problem saying 
saying, oh, oh, I want to gift this person so so and so amount, or I want to help you out with so so and so thing. But you coming as if you own it in the first place is something that, will, if not for the phone that is between me and you, I would have just pounced on. My point with this rant is, it's not easy for people to actually live in this place. People have bills to pay. You know, stop putting your expectation on them. Oh, they are here. You are done with school. You are working. You are supposed to be giving. You are supposed to be doing this. You are supposed to be taking care of your parents. You are supposed. Says who? Why can't it be my choice? Why? Why? Why can't it be my choice? Do you get what I'm saying? And this is in no way saying you cannot take care of your family and friends back home. Please don't misquote. If you like misquote myself, that's your business. Because I'm saying exactly how it's feel. I'm feeling, and the people that I call family and friends understand exactly where I'm coming from and how I've been helping so far. But my point is, it even gets worse for strangers. I mean, family is one thing, but even strangers that don't even know you from anywhere coming to ask you for something you've worked for is actually taking the piss, in my opinion. Secondly, this whole thing about culture. When you get into arguments with people, right, they're like, eh, hey, it's because you're in America now. And I'm like, yes, I understand that the culture is different. They're talking as if I did not live in Nigeria for 17 good years of my life. I, I grew up there. I was born there. I was raised there. I came here a few years ago and I kind of adapted to the society. Yes, I understand that fact. But why are you talking as if I don't even keep up with even technology, social media? I have family right there. Yes, I don't live there currently, but that doesn't mean that a lot of things have left me. If I'm telling you things based on reasoning and logical understanding, you don't want to hear it. You just assume that, mm, now because now you're Yankee, now I make you no go understand in the apple for you and i'm like okay make me understand they cannot give you one reason because they've already generalized the whole culture thing and it doesn't honestly make any sense to me and i just say you know what i don't have the energy to be arguing with anybody so do you understand what i'm saying it's just it's crazy <laughs> i'm ranting in this video but like honestly speaking guys like there's a lot that goes into staying in this country there is a lot that go especially if you're here for different reasons or if you're not here with family or if you're here by yourself or if you're here for a particular reason there is a lot that goes in here and the additional pressure is not necessary on people is my point allow people to do things from their hearts you enjoy it better that way they are giving you stuff because they really want to understand they want to help you they want to go out of their way to make sure that you are okay stop imagining you don't know what is going on some people i think i've heard somebody say this to me one time that oh i have family abroad and they cannot help me i expect them to fight i expect who are you to expect? Some people work 9 to 5 every single day. They have kids. They have bills to pay. When they come back, the last thing that is on their mind is your problem. They want to sleep. <laughs> I'm being honest. If they have, It's even worse if you have kids, little kids, that you'll be pushing around. Those ones already sap 100% of your energy every single day. With the running around, hey, you, come here. No, you, sit there. No, you, come and eat. All that in a day. And then they add that to their daily bread trying to find food to eat every single day and pay their bills you think your problem is what they're thinking about oh no especially if it was when i came to america that i understood the meaning of fending for yourself i had to become an adult overnight low-key yes i had family here that even made my life a little more easier but still there are a lot of people here that don't have no family they don't have nobody and they had to figure it out by themselves so you that is now sitting at the comfort of your own home expecting things, something is wrong with your head. I'm just saying let your expectation not turn into an entitlement mentality because that is where you're going to get it all wrong. And that's where you're going to get the insult that you never thought was going to come. Because there are some people that will lose their cool here and they don't have filter. They will just tell you the way it is in their mind that you will not like them. You know what I'm saying? You hate them or start calling them names. Oh, they are stingy. Oh, now because you're American now, you don't they carry on like this now. You are now proud. That's why you cannot answer my text messages. That's why you can. Who are you? I'm joking, Nagi. Who are you? That I'm going to give everything that is going on in my life to answer and attend to. Who the hell do you think you are? Let's start from there. Who the hell do you think you are? We all have lives. We are all busy. And to add the time difference on top, who do you think you are? You are not my father. You are not my mother. <laughs> You don't have anything to offer my life and you think you can sit down there and expect things from me. Are you okay? Do you understand what I'm saying? If you listen to this entire video and the one thing you pick out of it is to misquote me, that's entirely your business. I honestly do not care because I'm saying how I feel 80% of people actually feel living in the diaspora. It's not easy. Stop putting your entitlement mentality on people. Stop expecting things that you know you yourself cannot even afford for yourself. It does not make any sense. Oh, I need Brazilian hair. Oh, I need iPhone. I saw your phone now. Your phone is fine. Oh, hey, buy me one phone too. With which money? <laughs> Do you know how many mountains and how many rivers I had to 
swim across. Do you know how much I saved for that particular gift? Do you know if it was a gift to myself? Do you know how hard I had to work for that particular gift? You even know the genesis and the revelation of my life. You don't. You only see what I show you. It's really tough for people out here, man. It really is tough. So people are taking odd jobs that they never thought in their wildest imagination that they would ever take if they're going back to Nigeria. There's some doctors that will come to this country and then for a start, they start cleaning people's nyas from one group home to another just to make ends meet. And then eventually when they get themselves stable, it's either they go back to school or they get a decent job eventually. All these things are processes. If you now meet people in the season of their life where they are struggling, you're expecting all these things, how do you want them to cater to you or genuinely help you? I'm not even talking about the millions of scammers that are out there that will use different organizations or use different names just to extort money from people. It's crazy. It doesn't make sense. People are human beings too. And the grass is not always green on the other side. It really is not. How come in Nigeria you pay for house rent once a year? Yeah, you pay every single month. Every single month. I'm going to do a video about things that I love about America and things I hate about America. I'm going to do that eventually. December is coming now. My car insurance has expired. I have to renew it again. <laughs> That was if I'm thinking about it is is I want to cry in my head, but it's the truth. And there are some people that do month to month, while other people do six months straight, while other people do a year straight without worrying about things like that. You know what I'm saying? Please, that's basically what this video is about. Stop putting your expectations on other people. Yes, living in abroad might look glamorous to you, but the grass is not always greener on the other side. And God knows that that is the gospel truth. I'm not even talking about everything that people have to deal with here. I have to worry about this every single day when I'm walking on the streets or when I'm driving my car. So it's it's crazy. And I don't want to make this video super long. I just wanted to vent and tell you people, stop putting your expectations on other people and respect people's spaces, please. Okay? Thank you. <laughs> Let me know if you enjoyed this video, if you agreed with what I said. Um, let me know. Support me by just leaving a like and just comment in the comment section. What do you think about this particular video? The people that are living here in this country or living somewhere abroad, how do you relate with any of the experiences I talked about so far? And how do you feel about it? Am I, am I making sense? Or am I just blabbing? Am I speaking your mind? Let me know in the comment section and God bless you. Alright guys, I'll see you guys in my very next video. But before I go, please do not forget to subscribe to this channel. If you're new and you made it this far, please go ahead and leave a like button. Comment down below. Most of you that actually send me your messages via WhatsApp, I appreciate you from the bottom of my heart. But please, just share, copy and paste it on my YouTube channel. It's going to help my data analytics. I'm begging you. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.